people do not necessarily cringe because love has been seen to be something so good, right? Yeah, we all want love. And yes, 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 I'm here because I love you. And that's why I'm here to share this word about love with you. But what is the real love? Has love been misunderstood? Has love been wrongly defined? We'll find out. A text today is from a very popular verse, uh, John 3, 16, but I'm going to read the verse before and the verse after. Just to show us again, such a loving, loving, superb God. Now, if you've been, you know, listening to us over the weeks, we've covered lots and lots of topics. We said that Jesus is hated as the most hated man because of his kindness and his truth. People hate him because they don't want the truth. The truth exposes and, and he, he is the light. So he's hated. Nobody wanted to talk about Jesus in the place of work. And then we talked about how God made the heavens and the earth. And how God in the beginning created you and made you so special. You are unique and you're made in the image of God. And the purpose of bringing you here is actually for you to serve him. And today, I'm bringing you another fantastic word, and the topic is the real love. What is the real love? If I'm to take a quick, you know, survey and ask you what love is, I'm sure I'll get really interesting answers. Anybody want to tell us what you think love is? Perhaps you may want to categorize it. We've got erotic love, agape love, feel in love, and what have you. Yeah, all of that is great, like, it just helps us to kind of get a perspective. But here today, I'm going to talk about the best, the greatest of all love, and the fact that love is reciprocal, and what we need to do to reciprocate that love. Now, this is the book of John. I'll be reading chapter 3. Uh, like I said, I want to focus on one, uh, not just one verse anyway, but I'll make more emphasis on that. Okay, so... This Jesus, in the book of John uh, 3, Jesus was speaking with Nicodemus. A very, I mean, in today's world, we'll probably classify him as a professor, if you may. These are the people who knew the word, who knew the, the laws and stuff like that. Okay? All right, so um, <clears throat> let me quickly start from verse 5. In fact, let me read verse 3 first. So, so if this uh, you know, Rabbi has come to Jesus to, to ask questions, and then Jesus replied, Very literally, I say to you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born again when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying. You must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with somebody who is born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You were Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you. We speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. I've spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life. Let's pause there for a minute before we go on to the verse 16. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. You know why Moses had to do that? He had to because the people of Israel had rebelled against God, were going their own way, and God sent, sent in, allowed serpents to bite. You see, God is all loving, and at the same time, he is the God who judges justly. Yes, indeed. He loved the people, told them what to do, and they went their own way. And then he allowed them to have their way. 